Oh! Alright, we're fine. Oh, damn it. Come on. Even if we win this by default, I will take it. Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana army, I'm Latana, and today we're playing the Darwin Project, which is kind of like um, a Hunger, Hunger Games style um, game, but with a Fortnite kind of artwork style to it, which is great so far, I've really been enjoying it, and I explained it all before, you know, last time what the games were, so if you've not catched my last video, uh, that'll teach you how to actually play the game and what all the things do. But what this actually does is, this will show you how we survive. So what we're aiming for, we came second in our last game, which was great, because it was only like uh, one of my first few games that I'd played, and we finished second. That doesn't mean it's easy, the game is actually rock solid. And we're going to try and do a bit more tracking in this game, if I can, to show you, because I didn't get much chance to do that in the last one, because we were kind of just surviving, like, on the edge, uh, and in the outer quadrant. So hopefully in this one... Okay, I'm going to get a chance to show you like how we're going to view people's tracks and that kind of thing. So we've got two leather for that, which is great. We need to get the fur coat on. We found like, some sort of encampment by the look of it, which is great for us because we can get tons of wood, tons of chests, and be well tooled up, ready for when we actually get into the actual fight. This is quite a common area for the electronics to drop. You know, the only thing is, when an area like this and it's this exposed, you tend to get a lot of people in here. So I don't want to die too early on if we can help it. Oh, there's a house there, look. Now, in the houses, often there's maps in there. So what we may be able to do is actually find out where people are. Okay, that isn't a house, which we thought it was. But there might be one further down. Like, these tents might get us something. Now, sometimes the electronic drops there. Uh, which means we can actually find out where other people are. But right now, we cannot do that. So we need to keep looking around. Um, Alright, we'll build the fur coat first. That'll help us against that. And we'll get an axe, maybe. So we'll build up our axe a little bit more. Uh, and the fur cloak again. Just means that we have to worry less about the cold. So there, look, it's cool. You get the little fur coat that goes on there. I mean, there's a lot of scope for a game like this. I mean, they could actually add a ton of extra stuff in it as well. Um, if they wanted to. And the fact that they've got the electronics in it and it shows that it's slightly futuristic. Because uh, they've got the tech, you've got the camo um, cloaking device that you can kind of get. You've got the shield generator that you can get. It means that it opens it up, it opens up the genre to potentially having a ton of little gadgets in it, what you could get. Now, there are more which I found out in the lobby area. You can actually tailor your menu. So that you can kind of craft what you want. But what we're short on at the minute is, if anything, is leather. So we need to keep looking around. Oh god, someone's dead already. Oh look, there's a leather seat in there, we can go and get that. Now, we are leaving a lot, a lot of... Uh, a really big trail behind at the minute because all these tree stumps another player can actually click on that tree stump now that I've cut it down and it will tell him where I am so we've got to be careful of that and he can also look at the footprints in the ground as well and he can kind of follow us that way right this is useful because what this will do this will tell us where everyone is or if there's anyone in our area now if you look on here we're kind of on our own so in this quadrant here this one and the one below us uh, there's nobody there. Everyone's kind of fighting it out in the middle. God, and they really are. There's like a bloodbath going off in the middle. But what we're going to do in the meantime is get the resources. Now, these things, I think you can hit them and it'll knock you up. There you go. <laughs> All right, we need to get a fire built then. Now, we know that there's no one around us. So we can kind of do this in peace a little bit. And we're not going to have any sort of issues on that. So we can just stand by the fire. And if you look in the top right of the the top right of my mini-map, there's that little blue bar there that's going up. But again, what someone can do is look at this now. They can look at this fire and they can know that we've been around. So I usually put a trap around my fires. Just in case someone does go to investigate it, they're going to have a bad time. And it'll give me time to get away. So we are going to keep on going southward, I think. We've got five arrows left. You can see that again in the just to the right, the bottom right of the mini map. So that's seven arrows. Do you know what? Hardly you fire like three or four in a game, you've done well. A lot of it comes down to the axe. Now there's another camp down there, look, that we don't seem to have taken yet. Well, let's get down there and get the trees and all the bits from in here. Can never have enough resources. There's only five people alive now as well, which is actually good for us. Because we are aiming for that first place finish. I'm not saying we're going to do it because my track record in games like this, for those of you that have seen my Fortnite stuff, is not always great. However, you know, we do have potential. If ever we're going to do it, this could be it. Oh, damn it. Now, what that means is the zone's going to close in 50 seconds, 55 seconds. So we've got like a minute to get out of the zone. 
It's usually plenty of time, as long as you don't get it contested. We're near the edge anyway, so I'm going to open this chest. Sometimes you get cool gadgets in these. We've got a fur cloak in there. Excellent. Oh my god, someone else died. We're down to the final four already. I don't feel like we've been on that long. See, I'm still gathering. There's no point panicking at this stage. We're just going to actually gather resources still. I've got five trees and three leather. And we can hunt. If you saw in the last video, uh, we found a deer. And we actually killed that as well. Oh my god, wait. There's a massive cliff face here. Oh, <laughs> we're in the final three. How do I get around? Okay, looks like there's a way up there. Maybe we should have had a little bit more urgency. Oh, there it is. Look, we're fine. We're fine. Whew. All right. So that kind of pushed us out a little bit. We still had five seconds to spare. We've got the trees, but there's a leather seat up there as well, which I'm going to go and get. East zone is now forbidden. Fine. Okay, so there's six zones left. Oh, cage traps. Nice. You can't look around while you're looting, so you know you have to be careful. And that's quite a, kind of a good mechanic, really, because while you're, you know, you are looking through things you can't see. Right, there's an electronic over there. I think we're going to be the nearest, because I don't think anyone else was near here. Now, there's only three people left. So if we are quick, we might be able to get that and be first towards it. Could really do with the speed shoes now to help us get around. Um, all right, there is a place here. We'll actually be able to see if there's anyone around us because there should be a map in here. Okay, open the chest, open the chest, quick, quick, quick. Cage traps. Um, yeah, there's nobody here. So there's nobody here at all. So we can actually go and get that. Can I get through that window with the snow there? Yes, we can. All right. So we're pretty. Oh, lava, lava. Oh, that is a big jump. Oh, we made it though. We made it. All right, so let's go and make our way up to that electronics, if we can. If we can get there before the others. I don't know if we will be able to, but then we'll be able to craft some, like, better things. Oh, we absolutely can. We're going to get this. This is ours. All right, so I'll be looting this then. Quick, 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 quick. Here we go. We need to be faster. There we go. We got it. We got it. And we're going to get the leather as well. Oh, my God. Right, okay. We need to make our way this way, I think, now. And we've got loads that we can actually craft now. What a weird place to put a tree. All right, well, while we're over the lava, this is actually warming us up. The bad part of this is it actually, uh, if we get shot off the bridge, which I nearly did in the last game, for those of you that saw me near the end, then we could die. Which zone? Oh, that's fine. That doesn't affect us. Okay, so let's just get in here a minute. See, we could be being tracked right now and not even know it. We're going to make a camo thing this time. Oh, we're nowhere near that one. Right, we're going to sharpen our axe. How much resource does that take off us? And we're going to speed up the boots. And we're going to sharpen our axe one more time. Right, okay. We've got a ton of resources there. How is our axe looking? So we've got three on the axe, three on the fur cloak, one on the speed boots. So we should be all right. And we've got plenty of arrows and everything else. So I think we're pretty good at the minute. We've got three lots of wood. Let's build a fire here. Why not? Someone could be tracking us. We've spent a long time here now. What we are going to do is put a, a cage trap down. Once our bars are put at the top. There we go. Then if anyone comes to try and track that fire, they're going to get caught in the cage. And we're going to keep now just getting resources. We've not seen anybody, so there's not been nobody to like show you guys how to track at the minute. Because um, we've kind of stayed ahead of the game. Useful. So now there's a map here, so we can see who's in our quadrant. Oh, look, we're all on our own. So them two are fighting it out. So the way that we were actually headed, which is that way, that's where somebody is. Oh, there's only me and one other now. Oh, my God. All right, okay. We could actually work this quite well. So let's put a trap here on the inside. And let's put a trap by the window because that's quite a popular place for him to go. Uh, maybe he came up on us. Maybe this window might be a place where he might go. We'll put a cage trap there and a cage trap there. I don't think you can trigger your own trap, so I think we're actually okay there. And we'll do a bear trap. Another cage trap. Okay, we're going to actually kind of try and actually trap this guy. With our master skills if we can. And better than that, we're going to be able to see where he comes from. So he's not even after us just yet, so we've kind of got this place to ourselves right now. So we can kind of use this place. Oh, look. Oh, that's the lava, not his fire. Okay, so we can almost kind of watch him. Do you know, what's the... We could do with some more firewood. 
Right, there's some down there, and then we can go back up to this house. Okay, so this is good so far. Now, what's good is I've not got the mic on, which means that the guy can't hear me on the... Uh, oh, I don't think he can. We've got two leather there as well. Let's just get this to make another fire. And I'm going to deliberately make a fire up by where we put the trap house. That's the trap house up there, look. Oh, there's another tree up there. So all we need to do is kind of keep warm and kind of keep out of this, this guy's way. So as I heat at the minute, I heat something near the top still. Didn't I see a tree up here? Oh, it's behind that tree. Okay. So we'll head for this tree here. And then all we've kind of got to do is just stay safe. And then ho hopefully we can lure this guy into our trap house. Okay, so this is the trap house right here. So we've got a trap under that window, trap under that window, trap under that window. The only one we've not got a trap under is this one. We'll put a trap under there. And then we'll put a trap inside. Just because we mean like this. Um, should we go bear trap? Yeah, why not? Bear trap inside, and we'll put that down like there. And now, we are going to light a fire in the trap house. <laughs> awesome! A new what? A new electronic. Okay, so we're actually in a really, really good spot. Let's put the speed boots on. In case we need them. Right, and we've got one more thing to build another fire if we need it. Oh, we could actually get that electronic as well, you know. We probably should go for it and then get back to the trap house. Let's do it. Let's do it. We are probably going to see him over here, though. Oh, my God. Right, okay, we can do this. Come on. Oh, right, okay, so now time is money. He could be here at any second. He's going to have to make his way to this zone. He's going to have to. Right, here we go. Back to the trap house now really quick. And we're over the bridge now in a closed quadrant, which means he could be anywhere. Good, so we need to get off the bridge because he could shoot us off that quite easily. And we're not all that great. Uh, maybe we could build a uh, shield. Zone. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. There we go. So now we've got the shield up. All we got to do is get to the trap house. And I've just learned there, you can't trigger your own traps by the look of it. So what's good about this is we can actually see exactly where he is. So we've got this, so he is... Oh, he's approaching, look, he's coming from he's coming from this side. So he's coming from that side by the look of it. So he's kind of looking around the electronic there. Look, he's just stopped, he's just looking for us. So we're just... Oh, sudden death. Look, he's going to have to move in now. But are we going to have to move in as well? This could be the first win, guys. Because we've got the trap house all set up. Maybe I should build another fire as well. Like at the back of the house. Okay, this is it. So where is he? Oh, look, he is. He's coming up to the house. Now, can he even... Can he see the traps? Will he be able to see them? Oh, my days. Here he comes. Here he comes. Right, any second now we should... Oh, my God! <laughs> right, he's come through the wall. <laughs> Where is he? We need to spot him. Oh, no, he's going to force us out. Oh, no, I can hear him trying to hit us. Where is he? Oh! All right, we're fine. Oh, damn it. Come on. Even if we win this by default, I will take it. Yeah, that's fine. No, 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 no. Oh, he got us off the lava. That's where we lost. <laughs> All the warnings I gave him about the bridge as well being deadly. That is exactly why. That is why the bridge is deadly. Well played, dude. He earned that. He earned that. But we got second. Do you know, we got a, we got a gatherer award, whatever that is. Um, and I thought we did all right there. So we got second place. Do you know, not bad for the channel. So we... Is that twice we've done that now? So second seems to be our kind of niche. That seems to be where we're at. Uh, with things at the minute. All right then, guys. So this is Darwin Project. If you want to see even more Darwin Project and you want to see it as a, a regular thing on the channel, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. And if you're not part of the Latana army already, make sure you subscribe. We've got all sorts of cool games like this, alphas, betas, uh, and other things coming up. So make sure that you become part of it. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for stopping by, guys.